yeah, take that. Hello everybody, welcome to my Mario Party 7 minigame playthroughs. We're gonna be doing Volcano Peril. I got a new cable, the Hyperkin HD cable. So it's the connector straight into HDMI, and that's what I'm using right now. So I'm bypassing the component to HDMI converter, and it makes it easier for recording connections to have less cords. For a long time, the Wii was running in 480i resolution, and before starting the, the game up, I changed it to 480p, and when the game launched, I enabled progressive scan. So, I think with 480p and progressive scan, it's able to be handled better, and so far, I haven't experienced any black screen, so I think I'm good right now. So yeah, let's go into progressive scan, I mean, Volcano Peril, I'm playing as Dry Bones, and this is his first appearance, Mario Party 7. We got Toad, Birdo, and Wario coming along for the ride, and they're on brutal difficulty. I did play this a, a bit ago on hard difficulty, but I think we could probably up the challenge to brutal, and unfortunately that means I'm probably gonna lose a bit more than I would like. Because eh, I'm not the best in some mini games, especially button mousing ones. So I'm probably gonna lose those. But we'll trust that bridge when we come to it. Alright, Volcano Peril. Shall I tell you how to play? Okay, the first player to get a set, of, set number of wins is the victor. But to make it out, you'll need to defeat your rivals in mini games. Sounds easy enough unless they're on brutal difficulty. In this game, the first player to flee from the fiery pit is the winner. Let's choose the game settings and rules before this heat makes me swoon. Okie dokie. Alright. Choose the number of wins. We'll go with seven. Not too bad. This is going to be two versus two, because I did four player in Mario Party 5, and I think when I go to Mario Party 6, I'll do 1 vs 3, and in this one, I'm gonna do 2 vs 2, which is what I did before a little earlier today. But yeah, alright, for teams, I'm probably gonna stick with this, Dry Bones and Toadette vs Birdo and Wario. Okay. Smashing! And now, let's get ready for some hot battles. Oh my, yes. You must beat seven in order to win. Seven minigames, let's decide what you'll play. It's randomly selected, and the first one we're gonna play is Battery Ram. Why? Why this one of all things? I hate you. My god. Okay. And since I'm gonna be playing these modes first before free play, I'm going to read the rules and practice, and then whatever game we have, whatever mini games we haven't played yet, we'll see in free play, and then we'll go to King of the River. So, there we go. Okay. I am dealing with a little bit of a headache right now, but my neck muscles are tight, so I'm feeling some tension going through, so it's not really, no, not really that comfortable right now, but you don't care. <laughs> Okay, help your partner carry the battery through the blocks. This one takes patience. Oh really? You gotta move. If you need, if you get stuck, you may need to back up and try a different path. All right. Come on, Toda. We can do this one. We can beat them. 51 seconds. I did have a better record when I played the game a long time ago. Cause. This is not my original game save. I don't have my original game save, and the game saves I have right now, I don't really have at all. So, this is a transferred game save from gamefacts.com, and this is a 100% game save, so everything unlocked. So basically, I have this save file in order to 
Oh wow, 3940? Damn, we beat 40 seconds. Cool. So I'm using a transfer save over. And because my saves that I have right now that are mine, I have barely anything unlocked. I have no four player minigames unlocked, no two versus two, one versus three, battle, well, basically a few DK and Bowser minigames are unlocked, not the rest of them. And I don't, and the mic minigames are there, but nothing else. So yeah, that's why I'm doing the 100% save turn for here, so I can actually do this stuff for you guys. Otherwise, I would have had to postpone playing this mini uh, this game and go to a different Mario Party game until I unlock everything in the game. And I said in my last status update that I'm going to be playing Mario Party 7 minigame playthrough, so that's what I'm doing, so hope you guys don't mind that. Alright, Herbicidal Maniac, or Herbicidal Maniac, whichever you guys want that to be pronounced, fire at the Piranha Plants when they emerge from the pap, the first team to three points is the winner. Okay, this is one of the minigames we played when I did this a bit ago on hard difficulty and we just dominated, but... Brutal might be more challenging. Move and fire. Whatever you do, don't hit the bombs. The resulting explosion will cause a piranha plant infestation and will make you lose time and make the other team get faster to finish before you, so. Oh wow, that was easy peasy. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, what? That's not cool. I got that one. What? What the hell was that? We had that one, and then they just... Rigged. Rigged. They cheated. They don't count. Go back down. Oh boy. Okay. This might be a problem. Oh. Especially this one. World peace. Alright. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult. Combine two shapes to make the shape in the center of the board. The first team to three points is the winner. Remove, pick up, and drop the piece with A. Each shape is composed of two halves. If you pick up the wrong shape, you will lose valuable time. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, come on. We got this, Toadette. We did it last time. Okay. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I just barely beat Wario on that one. Okay, come on. Circle, circle. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Told that beat you. L, L, yes. No, not that. Oh, pfft. Okay, that was on me, that was on me. I picked up the wrong piece. Okay, now pick up this one. What? Finish. She beat you! <laughs> That's what I think of you two, come on. that beat you on that last one. Okay, pick a game that we can win. How about a new one, Spider Stomp. Are you ready? No. And if you hit no, then he'll ask if you want to exit the mode. Take down the spiders that have kidnapped poor Flutter and do it quickly. Why? Why, why do we need to save Flutter? What is he done for us? Hmm? Why? Move and fire. Same thing. A giant spider awaits you at the end of the level. Give, you, give it all you got. Okay, 
You have to shoot spiders in the faces. Shoot the spiders in the faces and they will go down. Okay, come on, Torda. We can do this. Come on. Okay, one down. Oh, they got hit. That's good. Okay, there we go. Hoo, 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 hoo. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, good job, Toda. Oh, what a big guy. Oh, don't get hit. Whoa. What? Oh, come on. Do it, Toda. Come on, you can do it. There we go, there we go, there we go. There. Come on, do it. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Oh. Okay, good. Whew. Good job, Toda. You really did well on that one. You happy now, Flutter? We saved your ass. What's, what's our reward? Oh, we just go up one? Oh. Now we're tied again at two all. Okay, from here on out, we're gonna win the rest of it, all right? You're gonna stay there like... Nails. Power and error. Are you ready? No. I'm never ready. These guys are on brutal difficulty. They're... They're winning too much. Ground pound the panels to flip over your team's color. You can jump, punch, ground pound, and kick. Yeah, let's kick him in the face. How about that? <laughs> ground pound the edge between two panels to change both of them at once. That's what I always do, but we'll see what they do. Hopefully they they don't do it, but being on brutal, they might just do that. Okay. Ho! Oh. That. How dare you? Don't punch me. What did I ever do to you? Finish. Okay. That was a closer match than on hard difficulty. Although on hard difficulty, last time we did this, Toadette punched me in the face twice. Hey! I'm your partner! Hey! Toadette! Finish! Yeah, take that! <laughs> she punched me twice! And the second time went off the edge. My God. Oh, that is a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch that guy was. <laughs> I call. Uh, okay. We got a win on that one. Let's keep it up. Buzz Stormer. All right. No, we're not going to play by the rules. All right. Move left and right to avoid the dandelions. Sounds easy enough. Move in the same direction as your partner to make the bee tilt more. Well, with computer players, it's easy to do that, but with the human player, it might be a little more tricky. But, yeah. All right, let's go. We're gonna win this quite easily. We can beat that record. Okay. It's also easy to hit the stems of the dandelion, so let's not hit any of them. Whoa. Oh, wow. I'm not hitting anyone. Oh, my God. No 1946. Good job, Toadette. Even though I did most of the plan. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a pretty good one right there. Didn't hit a single dandelion. That was pretty good. Okay. Alright, next one up is... Cardinal Rule. Okay. This one's pretty easy. On hard difficulty it is, but brutal, I'm not sure. 
I don't usually play with brutal difficulty, but I figured I might as well do it just for the little extra challenge, you know? Hopefully they don't kill me. <laughs> Look at the card in the center of the screen, then ground pound the matching card pair. Move and jump and ground pound. The first team to win three times takes the match. Watch out, however. Many cards look alike. We, you can see in the picture there, there are characters with their eyes open and shut. So, you gotta keep your eyes on that. Keep your eyes open, but some of them will be closed. Alright, like this guy. Oh, good job, Toadette. I was about to go down and hit that thing too, but... Oh! Oh, good job, Toadette. Wow. A sleeping bob -omb. Are you serious? I hit that. That's not fair. Okay. Just for that, we got the last one. Ha ha, in your face. Ha ha ha, in your face. I said ha ha ha, uh, or something like that. I don't know. My mouth does not know how to speak. Words do not come out of my mouth properly, you know? Being born hearing impaired and not speaking properly until like after kindergarten or something, grade one, two, or three, I'm not sure, but I always had a speech problem, so. And that is due to my hearing, so. Okay, bumper crop, work with your partner to load three kinds of vegetables into the truck. You must load two of each one. Pick and toss veggie with A. Move. You can't toss while Saga is holding an up. See what I mean? Is when you can't toss while side guy is holding up the X sign. Also, some veggies have no roots. Yep. My team failed last time, so hopefully we'll do better this time. Oh, right, come on, Toadette. We can do it. Go. We can do it. Oh. Hey! There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Bodo was in my way, and I thought that I didn't have the... whatever that little vegetable was called, so... so what, what happened? No. Get out of here. Okay. We are up to six wins. We just need one more, so don't you go getting in. I cannot talk at all. So don't you guys go and get any ideas on winning the rest of the game, so I... Oh, ships! Where are the ships? I'm hungry. There is a player who only needs one more victory to win. And that player is... Dry Bones and that guy. That girl, Toda, I keep calling her. Okay. Luck to you all. Well, on to the next mini game. We'll be playing Wingnet. Uh, we didn't play this last time, so there we go. New mini game. I really can't talk. I don't know why. Repeatedly tap A to flap the wings and get the flying creeper airborne. Tap repeatedly to flap. This might be a bit of a problem, because yes, my partner is on brutal difficulty, but so are they, and they might have the upper hand over me, so. Tap A really fast. That's all there is to it. Easy, huh? Like what you say. All right.
I can't beat them on brutal difficulty, they're just way too fast, and I don't have a good technique for button mashing. There is doing a bit of a technique, but it's, it doesn't really work on this type of controller. Once again, we have a player who is just a hair away from victory. Yeah, so give us a game we can win, eh? Okay. Spear Factor? Yep. Okay. Spear Factor it is. Okay, here we go. We did do this last time and beat the record. So, help your partner roll the giant ball to the goal. First team across the finish line wins. Move around. Try to cross the wooden bridge and avoid the dip. If you fall into it, you'll lose time. Valuable time. Horrendously lose time. Okay. Alright. Come on, Toad Dead. We can do this. Out of the way! Oh, crap! No! 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 Come on! Finish! Come on! Told that! I blame you! Damn it! Why? Dang it! What's wrong with you? Come on! What'd you fall off the bridge for? Told that it's not, I mean... Try <laughs> oh. Alright. Hopomatic 4000, okay. We might have this, but then again... I don't know. Move the hop along. Move the Hopomatic 4000 by pressing the buttons that appear on the screen. Easier said than done. B A X B A X L R. You and your partner will alternate pressing buttons. Teamwork is vital for success. Uh, wow. 4016 is a decent record. By the way, these are not my records other than a couple of them we played before, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. I don't think we're gonna beat the record because I stupidly missed the X button. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, we definitely got this. We got this. Come on. Okay. Oh, boy. If I didn't miss the X button the first time, we would have beaten 39 seconds. But no. Nah. Alright. And that was the final one. Oh my god, we did it. That's it. It's time to announce the results. The Volcano Peril Champion is... And they're leaving. Oh wow. They left me behind. Dry bones and toe that. Where the hell did you guys come from? You're supposed to be down there. Not up there. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. That's Volcano Peril. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos. And I will see you next time for when we go to maybe Pearl Hunt. That could be interesting to do. Play minigames until one person finds three pearls. We might go there. Or if you guys comment down below, we could do the Decathlon Castle. 
or waterfall battle. Let me know which of these you guys want, although if I don't see anything from you guys, then I'm just gonna go to Pearl Hunt next. So yeah, see you then. Later.